In this video, we will give you a demonstration of the wet fluorescent magnetic particle method using the yolk to produce the magnetic field. Let us start with the wet fluorescent magnetic particle inspection. Here is the basic equipment to perform the inspection. The black light, the black light sensor to make sure we have sufficient black light which is 1000 microwatt per centimeter square minimum. The fluorescent magnetic particles. Here is a shim to check the magnetic field adequacy. The AC yoke is here with the 10 pound weight which is right here. And the first step is to check the lifting capacity of the yoke and I will run a test for you. So the yoke passed the test which means that the yoke is acceptable and then we go to the next step. We have the sensor placed on the plate and I'm holding the black light over the sensor and uh, we are measuring the light, the black light level and you can see that the black light level is about 1200, 1300 so it is above the 1000 microwatt per centimeter square level so that means that the light level is acceptable now I will check the magnetic field adequacy on the shim again I'll apply the magnetic field with the yolk and spray the particles so let's apply the black light and see if we can see the three lines now let's see if we can see the three lines on the shim and they're pretty clear all the three lines are visible we are now ready to test the two plates spray the particles at the same time so I'll apply it like that go on this plate apply the magnetic field spray the particles here is the indication in this sample it's in the toe of the well it starts from here and it goes up to here the one advantage with the wet empty is that the technique is very sensitive and it can detect very tight cracks and in the second sample the crack is right there it starts from here and it goes up to here in conclusion we described three techniques for performing empty testing which were the dry powder the wet visible and the fluorescent visible which technique to use and which one is better compared to all the three depends on the application. If I am doing high temperature inspection, definitely I will go with the dry powder. If I am doing overhead inspection, going from the bottom and doing the inspection at the top, definitely dry powder will not work because it is just going to fall down. If we have somehow to create a dark environment, then the black light would be most preferred because that is the most sensitive technique out of the three techniques. Make sure in all the techniques that there is enough light level and make sure that you have checked the magnetic field adequacy with the pie gauge for the dry powder and with the shims for the wet empty. Thank you for your time in watching these videos. If you are interested in performing non-destructive testing we would highly recommend that you take the empty training. Empty training requires 20 hours of training as per SNTC 1A and our company provides our entity training every month for, the, for a 3 day training class.